Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to work on some practice problems involving congruent supplements and complements. In the first problem, we have two of them. In the first one, we're given angle 1 is equal to x squared plus 3y. So angle 1 is equal to x squared plus 3y. We're given that angle 2 is equal to 20y plus 3 and angle 3 is equal to 3y plus 4x. And we're asked to find the measure of angle 1. Well, we know from our theorems on congruent supplements and complements that if angle 1 plus 2 is equal to 180 degrees, so angle 1 is supplementary to 2, and angle 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degrees, which means that 3 is supplementary to 2, then if I have two angles that are supplementary to the same angle, then they are congruent to each other. So I know that angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent. So I'm going to work that out in a problem, and we're going to use substitution to solve this problem. So remember, I said angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. So I know that x squared plus 3y, which is what angle 1 is, is equal to 3y plus 4x, which is what angle 3 is equal to. And I simplify that to be x squared is equal to 4x. I subtract 4x from both sides. Now I have x squared minus 4x is equal to 0. And I factor out the x. Now I have x times x minus 4 is equal to 0. And I can solve for x. x is now 0 or 4. OK, now if I substitute 4 back into the equation, I'm sorry, if I substitute 0 back into the equation, now I have um, actually, I use 0 as a value. I substitute it back into one of the equations I had from the previous slide, which was angle 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degrees. So I have angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180. Angle 2, 20y plus 3 plus 3y plus 4x is equal to 180 degrees. Or 23y plus 4x is equal to 177. So I use a value that I got, the first value I got for x. I plug it in to this value for x, and I solve for y. So 23y plus 4 times 0 is equal to 177, or y is equal to 177 over 23. Now I can also find out, at this point in time, what the measure of angle 1 is based on the information I have. So in this case, I have a coordinate 0 for x and 177 over 23 for y. And this is one solution. So I plug in 0 for x, so I have 0 squared to find the measure of angle 1, plus 3 times y, or 3 times 177 over 23. And I get that the measure of angle 1 is equal to 23 2 thirds units. Now, I've found out what the value is for the measure of angle 1 using 0 as x. Now I need to find out what the value of measure 1 is, or the uh, measure of angle 1 is for a value of 4 for x. All right, so I go back and I use the same congruence and the equations that I generated from the original slide. Again, angle 1 and 3 are congruent, and angle 1 plus 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Now I'm going to use 4 in place of x. So I have in my second equation, angle 2 plus 3 is equal to 180. I have 23y plus 4x, or 4 times 4 is equal to 177 or 23y is equal to 161, or y is equal to 7. When x is equal to 4, I have 4 squared for the measure of angle 1. 4 squared plus 3 times 7 is going to be 37. So the measure in the case where x is 4 is going to be 37. The measure in the case where x is 0, measure of angle 1, is going to be 23 and 2 thirds. So you have those two answers for this one problem. In the second problem, Number 21, we have the ratio of an angle to its supplement is 3 to 7. Find the ratio of the angle to its complement. So here is the angle, and here is its supplement. And I know that the ratio is 3 to 7, or 3x plus 7x equals 180. And I can figure out that in this case, x will be equal to 18. So I have the angle as 3 times 18, or 54. And its supplement in this case will be 126. 
Now the complement to the angle is going to be 36. So I have the angle, its supplement, and the complement in those values. And it's asked for the ratio of the angle to its complement. So in this case, the angle to its complement is going to be 54 to 36, or in simplest and reduced terms, 3 to 2.